A college education can become critical to career and financial success. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, on average, high school graduates make less than $30,000 per year, while those with a bachelor's degree earn about $55,000 per year, and those with advanced degrees can earn $80,000 to $100,000 per year or more. Over a lifetime, a person with a bachelor's degree can out-earn their high school-educated counterparts by more than $1 million. These figures show that a college education can be one of the best investments you can make. A college education today is almost equivalent to a high school education a generation or two ago. With there being so many people in the job market, hiring officials are looking more favorably to those applicants with an education beyond high school. And many positions now require some type of degree. A college education doesn't come cheap. According to the College Board, the average cost of attendance at a four-year public school in 2006 was nearly $13,000 per year. At a private school, the cost exceeds a staggering $30,000. The skyrocketing cost of college leaves prospective students and parents facing a tough question. Can we afford a college education? Most families can't save enough of their income to pay for college. Parents face this dilemma. If we use the savings from our home, or retirement to pay for college, are we going to have enough to live on when we retire? And at the same time, students may have the heart set on attending a school that could probably give them the very best training for their future career, but have to settle for a less expensive school and sometimes delay or forego college altogether. Today, there are a variety of ways to pay for college, including scholarships, grants, and work programs. But most students get help through loans from the federal government. Federal staff or loans for students make up a majority of loans used for college today. In addition, there are Federal PLUS loans for parents and Grad PLUS loans for graduate students. For those that need funds beyond Federal loans, private student loans which are credit-based may be available. First, there are no income requirements for Federal loans as there were years ago, but families still have to complete a free application for Federal Student Aid or FAFSA to have their eligibility determined. Now this can take several weeks, and if federal loans aren't enough, private student loans can often make up the difference. Chase private loans can be applied for quickly and easily, either online or by phone, and funds can be sent in as little as five business days. And like federal loans, they allow for the repayment after graduation. Besides tuition, these loans can be used to cover many of the costs of going to college, including textbooks, living expenses, a computer, and even transportation. Taking these costs into account can help you decide how much to borrow when federal loans are not enough. First, you need to know how much college will actually cost you per year. So try and speak with the school's financial aid officer and also talk to parents whose students may have attended that college. Keep in mind you need to consider any additional expenses that you might have. Once you've determined what a college year will cost you, subtract any savings, financial aid, including federal loans that you'll receive, and then consider how much you'll need to borrow in private loans. One of the major risks of borrowing too much for school is that large student loans can equal large student loan payments. This can make it really hard for young people to meet their monthly obligations after graduation. What students should do is try and determine what their starting salary may be and then create a simple budget. Chase has online budget calculators that can help. These calculators can tell you what your average loan payment may be on the amount that you've borrowed. While paying for college may seem like an overwhelming challenge, Taking a step-by-step -step approach can be the key to success. First, don't assume that you're ineligible for financial aid. Families of all income levels may qualify. And students, they should apply for as many grants, work-study programs, and academic or athletic scholarships that they can get. Now, after you've done all of that, then apply for loans. Consider all of the features and benefits when choosing a loan to determine what's best for you and what keeps your costs as low as possible. Chase offers money-saving benefits on both federal and private loans. For more than four decades, Chase has provided students across the nation the money they need to further their education. It's a proud history that continues today as Chase offers both federal and private education loans. At Chase, we believe that everyone who desires a college education should be given that opportunity. Money shouldn't be the roadblock. And we've demonstrated that commitment for more than 40 years. 
As one of the nation's leading providers of education funds, we've helped millions achieve their goals with both federal and private student loans. Now, private student loans are newer to the market, and when federal loans aren't enough, they can be an alternative to parents using their retirement or investment funds to pay for college. Chase provides funding for federal loans like Stafford, Federal Plus, and Grad Plus loans. Chase also delivers competitive private loans to help students and parents when federal loans fall short. Although low interest federal student loans are the best place to start, sometimes they're just not enough. The average cost to attend a state college is almost $13,000 per year. The maximum amount a first year student can receive in federal Stafford loans is only $3,500. The private student loan can help make up the difference with the purchase of books, tuition, living expenses, and even a computer. Private student loans can also be used for career training, continuing education, and also for non-public K-12 education. Repayment of loans is also a big consideration when paying for college. Chase offers federal consolidation programs to help manage student loan payments. Most students pay their loans as scheduled, but for some, repayment can be difficult. And that's why it's important for lenders to maintain their relationships with students, to help them avoid default. Defaulting on student loans can damage credit and make it difficult and sometimes impossible to purchase a large ticket item like a house or a car. Loan consolidation can often help by turning multiple student loans into one loan with a fixed interest rate and a longer repayment period. This can make payments more manageable. As it has for years, Chase will continue on its tradition of helping students achieve their education goals and realize their dreams for success. Chase will continue providing education funds because it's important. We believe that investing in education is an investment in all of our futures. It's as simple as that. And that's why we'll continue to develop and provide quality products and services to support students and their families as they achieve their education goals.